Hi there, Stefano here from Sonic Cinema. Today I'm incredibly excited to introduce a brand new library we've been working on for a while, the Intimate Legato Cello. It's a solo cello library featuring a beautifully captured, natural sounding legato performed by virtuoso cellist Nicola Strickstead. It has one, if not the most realistic legato I've ever played in any cello library. It sounds so full of life and it's easy to create realistic and emotional melodic lines with it. We recorded it in a small church hall with a variety of microphone positions to capture every detail of the cello and the room. There are several features that make this cello more flexible for you, one being the reboke switch, which you can press midway through a note to create a natural sounding rebo. And this helps to shape your, the rhythm of your melodies and the expression more naturally. So it's astonishingly good in my opinion, as before you had to press t the note twice, but it doesn't sound nearly as good as... Uh, Next, we have two sliders which control the intensity of the legato transitions and the tightness of the transition. This can be mapped to your MIDI controller so you can move them during the performance. Uh, as you can see on the interface, we have under legato, we have the intensity and speed. The speed will either make it a slower transition when it's set to low, so you can hear more portamento, or you can set it to high, and in that case it's tighter. So if you want to play something a bit faster, or you want less of that sound, you can do that as well. So now it's set to low. <laughs> Let's listen now when it's high. You lose that uh, nice portamento, but it can be helpful if you want to play something a bit faster. As I mentioned, you can also change the intensity of the transition. So when it's slow, the transition between the notes is more prominent, while when it's set to high, it's smoother. So now let's listen to when it's slower. And now uh, intensity at the top. So you can shape the sound as you like. I think the pre-made settings, you know, the one out of the box, are just fantastic in my opinion. It sounds just great, so you don't need to tweak anything. But as I mentioned, if you want to play something a bit faster, if you want less portamento, then you can do that. Then looking at the interface, uh, we can see there's a microphone here. We click there and we have access now to all the different mic positions. So close, stereo, mid and far. Uh, the proximity slider moves them all together, so it's very easy to tweak. You can also solo them or mute them as you prefer. Then we also have a sustain option. We can be activated under the legato. There's a switch here. You just turn it off and then you have the sustain. This library, you know, it's focused on the legato, but it's great to have also a sustain option as sometimes it can be very helpful. The cello, in my opinion, is an instrument that sounds beautiful both in the high range, middle range and low range. 
And I think with this cello, we really capture the essence of it. It really is a moving sound that reverberates with you when you play. And you don't even have to move the mod wheel very much. In fact, I basically don't move it because it's... It's already emotional. Coming with the library, of course, there's a big selection of snapshots, which are pre-made patches with specific settings that can be a huge time saver and also a source of inspiration. Uh, each one of them has a different character and uh, we can listen to a few of them. As you can see from on the interface, we have 17 different uh, options. So I selected four. This is the far slow. so it sounds distant. And I'd like to point out that every snapshot we offer is made in the box. So whatever you want to tweak in the interface, you can do. Um, so we can see that this one has a reverb, the cathedral rear, you can change it, delay and microphones. We see the now the close mic is uh, far back and the far one is more prominent. Next, we have one of my favorite snapshots. It's called Huge Space, and this is how it sounds. It's astonishingly good as well. For me, uh, solo instruments like this beautiful cello really shine with the, when you slap a big reverb on top and you just play. To me, it sounds really moving and incredibly beautiful. The next one is called Aggressive. It's very upfront and uh, aggressive, as the name says. It's a front and you know crunchy and then the last one is called far away and uh, we also offer sustained snapshot So this was the Intime Legato Cello. I personally love it. It sounds so full of life. The tone is beautiful and it sounds incredibly realistic. It's perfect for writing these slow, emotional, melodic lines. I hope this walkthrough was helpful and gave you a better idea of what an incredible library this is. We also have many demos on our website and there's also a contextual video where I break down the track I composed for it. It's the same track you hear in the trailer, but the full version 
so you can listen to the cello in more in an orchestral setting with woodwind, strings and piano. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you think of the cello and let us know what's the first piece you will play with it. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, as we have lots of exciting things coming up soon. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you in the next one.